Why are we living in a world of three spatial dimensions? How would a world of two, four, or five dimensions look? This game gives you first-hand impressions of a four-dimensional world. Like a photo is a two-dimensional presentation of a three-dimensional arrangement, the game gives you a three-dimensional presentation of a four-dimensional arrangement. To see this presentation three-dimensionally, like a 3D movie in a cinema, the game offers you several view modes. Red cyan is the recommended mode. You need red cyan glasses in order to see it in 3D. If these are not available and you are able to see magic eye pictures, then just try parallel or cross eye mode. You have to mentally overlay the left and the right picture. It is of help to use the adjustment panel to adapt your eye read and also screen resolution, etc. The depicted square should have the size 1 cm or 1 inch respectively. And in the 3D picture below, you should determine the word front being in front and the word back being at the back. In this menu, you can also find the documentation of the game. When you start the game, you are in the first and most trivial level named Bar. You can see two objects in this scene. The aim of the game in each level is to assemble the given pieces into the goal shape. So the first thing you do is to inform yourself about the goal shape by pressing the goal button or G on the keyboard. Then press it again to come back to the original scene. You can move the pieces with the cursor keys left, right, and up and down moves the selected object as expected. Shift left, right, move it along the Z axis, and shift up and down moves it along fourth axis which is named W. You can see the actual position in the object control panel which you can also use to move the object. You can select a different object by pressing here or V on the keyboard. Rearranging the object means not only to move them, but also to rotate them. The rotation is specified by an axis, and a second axis into which the first axis gets transformed by the rotation. You can perform the rotation also in the object control panel. For example, the rotation XY transforms the X axis into the Y axis. Or, the rotation YZ transforms the Y axis into the Z axis. Or YW transforms the Y axis into the W axis. You can also drag the mouse to rotate the view if some lines in the mesh are not properly visible. If you mess up the view, you can recenter it by pressing reset. If you get more familiar with the game, it is less cumbersome to use the keys to specify the rotation. There are the four fingers of your left hand, which you place on Q, W, E, R, on a U.S. keyboard. Each finger corresponds to an axis. The point finger is the X axis. The middle finger is the Y axis. The ring finger is the Z axis. And little finger is the W axis. Pressing two of these keys at the same time does the corresponding rotation. The key you press first indicates the axis which gets transformed into the axis you press second. Now you know how to place and rotate the given pieces, it is time to combine them. Whenever two objects touch each other, you can press the button Combine or C on the keyboard to make one piece out of them or glue them together. If you combine in a way that the goal cannot be attained anymore, you have to repeat the level. If combining the pieces yield the goal shape in whatever position, you get transported to the next level.